one of the interesting things about ballast there's no one really knows how to do it well that seems to me I had a big big amount of trouble trying to find the adapter fitting I couldn't find it so I went and I bought another one that's basically what you get this little fitting here which goes on your hose uh, a couple of adapters that go on your on your, your valve thing here and this little button here for letting something out I, I guess it's water oh maybe it's water maybe it's air as the water goes in the air must come out I don't know it comes with a plastic bag how dare you but that's it no brand or anything we'll work out here today how to how to do it I've well, got this brand new tyre from the tyre shop. I asked them to put water in it, but they don't do that. That's all cool, they weren't set up for it. But as to what the tyre pressure should be, I heard some stuff say that the maximum tyre pressure will be written on a tyre. I'm, I'm a mechanic by well, trade. My dad had a garage and um, with a tyre bay, and you know we used to put lots of tyres on and off and do the wheel balancing all that sort of stuff so you know like i know i know i know tires but i'm a little bit uncertain as to what the tire pressure should be for for this i mean the, the less you have less tire pressure you have the more grip you have but you potentially get a bit of sidewall flex and a bit of potential wear you could wear out your sidewalls you know you, you know if you have your tires too low on your cars car tires um the sidewalls sort of heat up and the beads can break and things like that uh, and you wear off the edges and stuff like that that's slightly different to what you'd get running around on dirt and gravel um, dirt and gravel you sort of want to have as much grip as you can uh, the least the less tire pressure you have to some extent you're going to get a better ride you're going to get a bit of cushioning if you have them up too hard you're going to get a bumpy ride and when you fill it up with water they say you're supposed to have 75 percent water percentage and the reason for that is <coughs> so that when the when the water levels up to here you've still got some air to be able to come out and in some of the climates where you might put something different in other than water i'm just putting i'm just putting water in here uh, we don't have freezing issues and things like that um, but sometimes they put some calcium something stuff in which is it might be a bit abrasive in a I guess that's going to be in an alkaline sort of way um, to the tyre pressure gauges that sort of thing so we, we want to be able to fill it up to here and we want to have a little bit of air in the top of the tyre to act as cushioning otherwise it would be like having solid filled tyres and it would have no suspension whatsoever so <coughs> because I don't really know what the tyre pressure should be all, all my lawn mowers and things like that I just work on a on you know even even hand trucks and things like that um trolleys uh, i will just work on 20 psi as being a, a good number uh, if it's got 20 psi um car tires i generally have 30 32 psi um a, unless you're talking about some commercial vehicles and things like that which have commercial rated tires and trucks and things like that you could be up in 40 and 50 psi um and there's plates stuck on the vehicles to tell you what what settings you should have um, for uh, for the load. I did see that there was something about whatever the tyre has written on it is your maximum pressure and you should be 5 psi under that as being your normal running. Uh, maybe that sounds sort of fair the only thing i can find here is it says that the maximum tire pressure when set when, when seating the bead is 35 psi it would be fair to say that 30 psi should be a number i'm looking at this as if it's like it's 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 a 14 inch it's a 6 by 14 um four ply it's pretty much an old school car tire in a way really so 30 psi is probably not not a bad thing so this has come from the tire shop in theory they should know i'm interested to see what they're gonna have it set at so before i do anything i'm gonna i'm gonna take a reading i mean i've had it i've had it i picked it up from the shop you know a couple of months ago and i i finally got around to a couple of weekends ago putting a bit of paint on here which i didn't want to put it back on the tractor without painting it otherwise it'll never get done 
So it just had a bit of stuff where it had worn through. I've only painted down to here. I've left all that there because you don't really want to have excess paint on your mating surfaces anyway because... Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can read this, the gauge, without it being hooked up. Oh, yeah. It's like on 22. Let's say that's a good number. We'll try and aim back for something like that. So I'm going to take the valve out, valve core out now. Actually, I don't know whether you need to take the valve core out for this. I would imagine you would. Feels like you should. I think I'm going to need an adapter. I think I'm going to need this adapter to get onto here. And I think I'm going to need that to go there. Yes, okay. I don't lose that in there. Okay. So I'm going to need a, uh, a hose fitting. So what I'm thinking is to set this at the 75% mark. Okay. I'll set it here and I'll fill it up. So we'll, we'll start the tap running into there. I guess we might have to push this button to release a bit of air out of the system from time to time or maybe a lot of the time when we think it's full and it starts running back out then we'll let it run back out till it runs to it stops running out then we know it's up to that level that's the thinking right that, you, you're good with that i'm good with that i think i think that's how to do it let's turn on the tap how do you know How do you know when you've got it? I saw someone do this. I think it was Tractor Mike. So I'd probably listen to him because he's got Tractor in his name. It's a messy job. Someone's got to do it. You know, it's on a hot day. You hear that? Running through the sprinkler. Set up on the clothesline. Did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Did you also say, what are the rich people doing now? I'm going to turn it off. Okay, this could be messy. Okay. We'll let, we'll let that run out. I'm not sure what the point of that little thing is there unless you're doing it with the air already in there. And, you know, so you turn off the tap and you might let this out. This air out. That's probably the go actually. If you had this blowing up and you're putting air putting water in it while it was aired up. How would you do that? Okay. If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Thanks, Dana. wants to pull back in. Oi, oi. Careful, careful, son. 
Well, we're gonna have to get some pressure into it, aren't we? Maybe that tube is shrinking in a bit. Might have to look at that because if the tube is shrinking in a bit, it's gonna to want to expel the water out, even though. Yeah, I think we'll, so I think we'll take it up to the top of the clock. Hope not to lose the tube. That'd be a bummer. Still got water coming out, eh? I would have expected it to stop running, but... We might have to go a couple of rounds at this. I would have thought the weight of the water would force the tube to the outside of the tyre no matter what. I think I want it to stop running at this height so I can put it up the top and it's got no... Because as we all know, liquids don't compress, not really. Whereas air can compress. So you probably could get a decent accident if you're trying to inject pressure into something that can't, doesn't have a, a, a chamber for expansion. It would just want to pop all the uh, fluid out. I would imagine that would be the case. I'm taking this seriously, you know. A little bit. I mean, it's not a total shake hands with danger moment. Shake hands with danger. Is it? Still coming out a little bit. You know, a way to do it would have been to weigh it first. That would have been a, that would have been a way to do that. You could probably get away with it on a small enough thing like this, but you'd have to work out the volume. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we're close enough here. We're close enough. Might just use this to hold on to that valve stem. Sitting on twenty five. You always do this, right? Yep. It didn't go as smoothly as I planned. Filling up wasn't too bad. Not 100% sure where the mark is. We'll have a look at that in a second. Where the level is. Let's see. Let me see how heavy it is. Yeah. I reckon it's only half full. I'm quite keen to have another go at this. With the pressure on. Maybe it's not dangerous. Shake hands with danger. Friends I used to know. Compared to them, I'm lucky. It'll be just three finger Joe. Maybe it's not. But maybe it's what this little button's for. For letting the uh, letting the air out. Hmm. Okay, give that a go. Okay. Let's try. Now I think what you're gonna need is to have the pressure incoming higher than the pressure in the tire. So we've got 25 psi. Town water pressure would be 40, wood, uh, 40 psi. This is just a pump. 
on a long run turned down a bit so it might not be be interesting to see if the pressure has changed after after this in theory it should mind you I am letting a little bit out here Feels like mm, it's hard to say. Feels like here. feels heavier so that's the scientific thing I suppose it's about having the weight in your tires so you don't tip over or so you get more more weight down onto the ground so that this feels more like a d8 dozer than a little compact tractor yeah okay gonna check that pressure right Let's see if it's going to stuff this thing up. Oh, still right here. We're just above 20. Oh, I reckon we're 22. There's 22 psi. Let's go with that, eh? Let's go with that. Might take this down and see what the actual pressure is on the one down the bottom. But let's go bolt this on. I don't know the torque settings, so I'd imagine we'll do it up nice and tight. Pass auf, dass du dein Rotzglocken nicht Bier abschlagt. Oh, that feels heavy. He ain't heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. Let's go some substance. Hey, okay, tractor. Get your wheel back. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. What does that say? Seventeen. Gold. Hopefully, seventeen. sometimes when I drive when I usually when I drive it here on the concrete the, wo the wheels seem to wobble around a little bit so I just want to check nothing I've got a little bit of top to bottom play here in the top of that. Let's go and jack that up. Mm -hmm. 
We're good. Winner. Got a little bit lucky here on this side to uh, to be able to test that the pressure it needs to be at the top. So, well, I think it does. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Just to compare, this is the same same type of tyre too. I was quite um, I was quite happy almost when the other tyre crapped out that uh, it was the only odd tyre out. And uh, see, that's down around, not much. So we'll give it up to um, yeah. But so now we've got a full set of brand new tyres on the on the tractor. So just to finish the sentence so let's uh let's hit that and give it what to say 22 we hit yep let's come back down to 22 or so so that's all fine now let's see if we can tell if this one's got water in it because i made an assumption that this one's got water in it but I don't know. I think it's hard to tell. Let's give it a spin. How are we going to do that? It's all dry. Mmm. Let's take it out for wheel drive, won't we? I think that might be out of four drive now. We off the ground? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's get rid of those coconuts. How do you like them coconuts? You take this around to the bottom and see if we can get any water out of it. Well, there you go. This one doesn't have water. So next time I get this up, next time we get this up at the shed, I'm gonna have to fill it up with water. If I'd known this one didn't have water in it. I probably would have left that one without water in, but then we would never know. Right? Now you know. Yeah. Okay. So I think, I think maybe... Whew. This has been real hard to get G'd up, this uh, starting back work on the farm. Real hard. And... Uh, We've got the wheel back on the tractor. Um, it fought me all the way, <laughs> just little things. And I had planned on doing a whole bunch of other things. But we'll, we'll, we'll call it at this. We'll call it putting ballast in a tyre on a tractor. How to do it when you don't know how. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it that. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll come back next time. We'll do some work, actual work on the farm. Right. Check, check.